What about bonds in the fourth quarter? Fear certainly stalked the markets in Q3. It hasn't gone away, but... I think at the moment, the risk premiums we see and the levels we are at are extremely uh, stressed. So at one point, as we usually see, investors will return into these markets, especially if we look at LATAM, we have the situation we saw in Russia uh, in the beginning of the year. So now for LATAM, we are at the very stretched level. And unless we see a big trigger like a default or similar, we could see investors return in the coming month. The risk premiums we see in emerging markets consist of fear from the Fed, fear from the commodity story, and also fear of lower growth in emerging markets. But still, if we take all these fear factors and put them all together, it doesn't really justify the present yield levels we see in emerging market bonds, especially not when we take the levels we have in developed markets into account. In that context, the risk premium is still too high and in that context, investors, I'm quite sure, will return later on in this quarter. If you're looking to invest in emerging market fixed income, where could you be looking and how could you be trading? We start with a word of warning. LATAM is for the more risky investors. We have severe stress in Brazil and the risk premium there is quite high and also quite attractive. Uh, going to Asia, uh, this also have created a lot of concern, especially about the Chinese growth. But investors tend to forget that the Asian economies are quite positive towards lower commodity prices. And add to that, that the Asian economies are also uh, quite stressed uh, in some of the bond markets there. So in that context, to get the overall exposure into emerging markets, investors could choose an ETF, for instance, the JP Morgan Emerging Market Bond ETF. Or to be very specific on uh, LATAM, investors could choose the, for instance, the Banco do Brasil corporate bonds, which I believe is a good choice, still uh, quite high risk. But also we have a bank here that actually have earned money the last four years, a quite profitable bank, more than 100,000 employees. And the risk factors are more due to poli politics and the more or less uh, entire LATAM growth story than anything else. So in that context, I believe that could be a good choice for risky, risk-hungry investors. And there's more from Simon throughout our Essential Trades publication on tradingfloor.com. And follow our strategists with the hashtag SaxoStrats on Twitter.